Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is Anything LLM. And I'm going to set up a data connector, which took me a little while to figure out where it was. Data connectors are these little tools that uh, you can use for transcription or pulling GitHub repos, or in this case, bulk link scraper. Now, I'm, I'm not going to try to bulk anything. Uh, I'm just going to try and just scrape this one website uh, maximum number of links to scrape. I'm going to say one and let's see what happens. Scraping website. This may take a while. Now let's take a look at what's going on on my CPU. You can see it's spiking a little bit, got a little bit of network activity. The RAM is totally consumed. Uh, I only have 16 gigs of RAM on this eight-year-old laptop, so it's it's working pretty hard. Uh, but no confirmation that anything happened. Uh, that's not encouraging. But I do have a new document here, so let's go ahead and move that to the workspace. Save and embed. Updating workspace. OK. And let's see what happened on CPU side. Yeah, you can see there was a spike there. Now, um, here is attached to nothing. That's a key phrase I'm going to use here in the chat to see how well it has populated my data. Again, to get these uh, data connectors, uh, you have to go into the agent itself. Here are the data connectors. You click on that upload. You've got my documents and the data connectors are over here. Hopefully there will be more of these tools. Uh, and it would be really, really cool to be able to see uh, where in GitHub these tools are being built, but that's another story. Okay, so let's go to the chat engine and scroll down. Okay, send message. Uh, in 100 words or less, tell me about, uh, tell me about attachment. And I've set the 100 words or less because, again, this computer is not capable of really pumping out a lot of data at one time. And so it's going to take a while for this to do anything. Hopefully it won't take too long. The CPU fans are spinning up. And yeah, I'm going to have to uh, kill this video. Otherwise, it's just boring. Ah, OK, so it has started. Here we go. You can see it is slow. OK. All right, and now here. All right, so this is a direct reference to this new uh, to this new piece of data that I just added. So it is uh, it is pulling from my new from my new uh, document stash. So it has been included in the rag, and. Hopefully, it will give a citation. I, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Here we go. Uh, so too should you approach each day. Uh, okay, so that's not part of this statement here. Uh, 
new each day with optimism, new opportunities for growth and learning. As the seasons change, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if seasons is actually in this in this document here. Season. Uh, season of life, but that's it. Uh, Self-sufficiency. Let's see if sufficiency is here. Negative. Self. Lots of self. Self, self, self. Myself, myself, myself. Myself, yourself yourself, myself. Okay, so um, all right, I think this is more than 100 words. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, I've got a PS. All right, so there is a PS. Uh, interesting, this also included a PS. Huh. All right, so it's definitely referencing document that I just uploaded because the negative part here is also in this. Uh, let's try it bad. Yeah, bad things are good things. This, this paragraph here is a direct reference to this right here. Things are not always negative. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, this is Anything LLM. Again, to get documents, you you can upload directly as text or whatnot, uh, including audio files. I don't know, there's no mention of images, uh, but if you want to pull something from the web, then you need to go to data connectors and then pull from here. Um, hopefully data connectors in the future will include chat, for example, a chat channel, Telegram, chat channel from Discord, um, a direct link to a WhatsApp or, or uh, Slack. All right. Thanks for watching. Happy computing.